Welcome to Italy part two. Um, if you haven't already watched my last Italy vlog, go watch it first. But I am filming like an Italy traveling series. I am so excited. So currently we are in Cornelia, which is one of five, I think it's the middle one of five towns built along the coast. They're like all built really high up on a cliff. If you open Pinterest and search up Italy, it's the first thing that's gonna come up. It's like a bunch of colorful little towns built along the water and it is so beautiful. Um, I'll put it on a map just so you can see where we are. Do, do, do. Anyway, so today we are doing a little walk. We're doing a little hike. Um, we're gonna be active. So we're taking a train um, to the beginning town. Uh, which is called Monte Rosso, and then we are walking back to our little town. But anyways, we're doing a little hot girl walk, we're doing a hot girl hike, we're getting our move on, um, and I'm so excited. I love Italy so far, I love the aesthetic, I love the food, so yeah. Yeah? Here are the hiking outfits. <laughs> That's the next town of the five, and they're all connected by like train. That one's Managola, there's another one, and then the other ones are that way. These stairs start down the train station, go all the way up to the little town, and we had to walk up them yesterday with heavy ass bags. I was dying. Okay, so we are in Cornelia now. We take the train all the way up to Monte Rosso and then we walk here the coast walk to Vernata and then back to Cornelia. <laughs> so my mum lost our entry tickets um, for the National Park Walk, the one we were meant to do. So now she had to go all the way back to the beginning to go get them. Thankfully, she found them, but I got them! I am dying. These stairs are so exhausting, oh my gosh. Oh! <laughs> I love how in Europe you can just pick like wild fruits or something. Cause in Australia, I never did that. But in Germany, in the forest, you can pick like wild berries and everything.
We have reached the point where I am getting hangry. I am starving. <sighs> I just want to arrive and I'm sweaty and gross and hungry. <sighs> and it feels like we're not even going to our the next town yet because we're still going up even though the town is lower than us. Finally, I spy the town where we're going to eat. Um, I am starving, but we're nearly there, so good energy is starting to come back. So we're finally in Vanatza now. Oh my gosh, I'm starving. We just stopped at some random restaurant. It is so full here. It is crazy, but you know what? It's fine. I'm gonna find something. I love Italian food, so it's all good. I thought lunch would give me energy, but no, I just feel even more tired and even more dead. Like, I could just go to sleep right now, but it's okay, we're going in the water, it looks stunning, I can't wait. We are finished with swimming and my hair has definitely seen better days, it looks insane. But we just stopped at like a little cafe and we're getting an espresso. I also bought this cute little card of the Cinque Terre. I want to start collecting like postcards wherever I've been and write like my experience on the back and then hang it up in my room like a little collage of postcards. I'm excited. My room is going to look amazing in Berlin. I have absolutely no idea how I'm supposed to walk another two hours. It's like 5.30 right now, but we're on our second part of the walk. Hopefully it won't take as long as the first part, but oh my gosh.
we still have a decent way to go. We're not halfway yet, but I'm in a good mood. And I see our little town. We're making progress. I was just waiting for the moment where I slip and hurt myself. I was so close from like, I don't know, twisting my ankle, I slipped. I caught myself, thank God, but literally every walk. If, if I don't slip, something's wrong. Like I always fall and hurt myself. We made it. We're back where we started this morning in Cornelia. Now that we've finished our walk, I actually have energy to keep walking. That's really stupid. But yeah. So instead of gelato, we got granito, which is like, I don't know, like a slushy consistency. Mm. And I got lemon and basil, and it's very good. That door up there is our Airbnb, and down here is where the village kids always play volleyball and soccer in the evening. It is very cute, but also very loud when we try and sleep in the evening. My gosh, they're still up doing their thing. These are the last set of stairs, and then finally, a shower. We got changed, ready for dinner. Um, it is already much later than we wanted, because I just filmed the most beautiful TikTok song, but I am obsessed with this dress. Here's my mom's outfit. Cute. Okay, let's go. I'm starving. Um, I completely forgot to film dinner, but it was very cute. I had a vegetarian pasta with tomato sauce. We had a salad. My mom had seafood pasta, and it was very good. Um, Anyways, we're heading back to the Airbnb now, which is like just up the street, um, and we're going to sleep. <laughs> 